Hello fellow YouTube, it's Failure Tiro, and welcome to the second stage of this year's La Tour de France of Failure Way. And the second stage this year is from Bastia to Ajaccio, and this is not going to be a complete flat sprint, it's going to be mountain hilly-ish. The midway stage is a big mountain that's going to be tough for some riders. If there's going to be a pace up that mountain, I can guarantee you some guys will be dropped. But this stage, I believe, is, con is perfect for guys like Peter Sagan, Eva Bosnhagen, even maybe Tom Dumoulin, guys that can get over the mountain, Samuel Dumoulin, those kind of guys. But I also believe that Gri uh, Gribel and Cavendish can get over the mountain. And if I have to choose one of those two of the strongest right now, I'm picking Cavendish. I believe Cavendish is the strongest Gripel. So my main favorite for this stage is Peter Sagan, Eva Bosnhagen, and, Ca and Cavendish. I believe that like, if they don't drop Cavendish, he'll win the stage, but they're probably going to drop him on the last, like, last hill in the end. That l really looks steep. Welcome! To the live pictures we finally got, and beware, a lot of stuff has happened so far, so why don't I just get going? In the morning, we had a breakaway neutralized. First of all, it was Gasparotto and Maroni, Maroni, from Soissons and Liquor Guys, oh, Aston Am, my bad. And then, after that, they attacked again, Gasparotto, Maroni, Maroi and Terpster all attacked together. Then Terpster got caught from that group, and the three guys still went away. Then we had a nice sprint. And let's check who won those points. Guess we're to one in front of Moria Marino. Then Cavendish beat his own teammates, his own train. So Omega Pharma Quickstep took almost every point in that sprint. So Cavendish gets 13 points on Greipel in that competition. That's really good for him. Let's check what otherwise happened so far. And then Bach and Boom attacked away from the pelt. And they just wanted to get up to the breakaway. That was really exciting to see Dane in the breakaway. But then we had our first crash in the, this race. Sean Hassan crashed right before the uphill. It's the worst time to crash. But then, in the end, Gasparotto was all alone. Everyone just fell behind. They couldn't follow Gasparotto's pace. And he won the mountain sprint. But Breezeful, you attacked right behind him. Because then Breezeful, you attacked with Garage and Gessing. For some reason, Gessing is going for the mountain jersey this year, I believe. But then we had a two-man group. Just Gessing and Gasparotto. Then the next mountain came around. And Robert Gessing just drove away from Erika Gasparotto. With Simon uh, Gerrans and Breezeful, you behind him. So that actually that means, so far, that guessing is in the mountain jersey, which is unbelievable. Then we had a five-man attack, we're right back where we are right now almost. Five-man attack with Chilbert, Gadre, Moser, Anton, and Schleck. Andy Schleck. Right now you can see the six-man six -man group in the front. Moser, Hessing, uh, Andy Schleck, Philip Chilbert, and Gadre, and Eager Anton. This is unbelievable, a stage like this is already happening, this stuff. It's insane. We already see that the mountain jersey has been dropped, and the white jersey has been dropped, which is... Digging Cup, I believe. Yeah, we see Lobato's down here. Let's see if we can find him. Uh, the white jersey's sitting down here somewhere. I can't really see because they're all white. So in the front right now, I think I heard Saxon Bank Tinkoff's guy talk about attacking on this stage, maybe? It was possible, they think. Let's see what's going to happen. Contador's sitting nicely in the front right now. I believe right now is the perfect time for a commercial break because you're so excited that you have to watch that commercial and come right back. And welcome back. That was a lovely commercial, wasn't it? Let's see. It seems like... What is this? No, it's just a slow pace. They're just getting ready. They're just getting ready. Nothing is really happening. Oh, what is this? Michael Rogers is attacking. Is this, a, is this a tactic from Contador? Is he setting his guy out so he can go up to him sometimes later? Is he, is he really doing that? That's a brilliant tactic in my mind, if he is. Let's see if Michael Rogers can get away. Right behind him, Simon Jarrett is getting away. The two Australian guys are probably talking together. They were like, hey, mate, hey, mate. Attack. Let's see, Rogers right down the front, they've got around 30 seconds, they just gotta keep the pace until they hit this mountain. They really just wanna see if the other guys can follow, they don't want this to end in the sprint, but Nazi's actually doing really good on Team Saxon right now. But there's 159 guys left in the peloton right now, let's see, now they're hitting this uphill. Are, are they trying to attack now? Are they, is, that, is this the moment to attack? I see Lawrence down getting ready, I see Cavendish str struggling, who is this, this going away? This is Bog Mollum and Larson Dumb moving away. But this is Condor's attack. This is Condor's move. Is he trying to go away? Seems like so. It seems so. He's getting up to he's getting up to his teammate. He's catching them slowly. Is he he's just going. Condor wants to win the second stage of this year's shoot uh shoot Italian. No, this is a wrong race. He wants to win this one's race. Let's see, you gotta help him, Pace. You gotta help him. Ooh, you're dead. Go, 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 go. 
Let's see what's gonna happen in front. Contador is going in the front with Buck Muller right behind him. And there's Kwiatkowski. There's separation in the front. There's separation. Ten seconds. There's only four guys in the front. They just gotta move faster and faster and faster. So, about to Contador wins that mountain sprint, but it still means that Robert Gessing is in the, in the mountain jersey. Contador is leaving them for behind. Twenty seconds. Four man group in the front. Michael Rogers, Kwiatkowski, and Buck Muller. Who would have thought that this would have happened? This is interesting. Let's see. He's going so fast downhill. This is intense. They gotta do something back in the Pelton. Quintana's reacting. Rogers is being dropped by his own captain. Contador is still going. He's. I heard that he's really good legs today. Let's see what's gonna happen. He's got 30 seconds down to the Pelton. It's going fast. It's gonna be a sprint between him and Buck Mollema. Oh my God! This is just the best sprint we could ever have thought of. Already in the second stage, we see Jack, we see Jacob Fulton having to set a pace to catch Contador. He's going so fast. He's got 45 seconds. He's already making a lead. Can he take the yellow jersey from day two? That would be the biggest upset ever. Let's see. Kwiatkowski's behind him with Rogers in fourth. And here are the Peloton trying to catch him. He's still got 50 seconds. He can now sprint in the front. They're getting ready to sprint. Buck Mollum is probably the favorite here because Contador's been pulling the entire way. He knows he's stronger than Mollum on the mountain. So he just wants to get the seconds he can get on this flat stage. Who would have thought this wouldn't end in the sprint stage? Who would have thought? Let's see. Contador is still moving fast. Down the Pelton, they got 30 seconds, this might actually end in a sprint, they gotta go, they gotta go. He doesn't care about this victory, he just wants to gain all the seconds he can gain from the Pelton. Let's see, who is sprinting from down here? No one is really sprinting. Oh, are they getting caught in front? Are they getting caught? Contador is sprinting with Buck Mollema, 0.6 kilometers left, Buck Mollema is leaving Contador behind. But he's still gaining around 25 seconds on the Pelton, it's gonna be a victory for Buck Mollema from Pelkin. He takes his victory! Who would have thought Peter Sagan would have won the stage? Contador is second, put down the pelt and they're moving faster. Here comes Peter Sagan really fast! Well, a hundred of a bird on his wheel. And other boys. Oh, that's Froome! It's not even other boys in Hagen! It's all the captains! They definitely gain some times. This might not have been about Contador's victory, but he gained time. That's the most important thing, he gained time. And then all the tail enders are coming in. We definitely need to see what happened down the pelt in that instant replay because we know what happened in the front, but we don't know what happened down the pelt. This instant replay is sponsored by Focus Sign Up and ProCycling Manager. We're watching this instant replay from Mark Cavendish's point of view. He can see everything from where he's sitting. I'm surprised he survived that hill, but it's a yellow jersey giving wings. He can see Alberto Contador and Brock Mollema uh, dueling it out in the front, but he also sees Peter Sagan taking the yellow jersey from him right there. So that's a shame, but that's a really nice sprint and really nice effort. So, Brock Mollema wins down the Contador, and it does not seem like he gained any time. That's a that's a, that's a lot of BS, I'm saying, if Contador did not gain time by doing that. He basically gave Mollema the victory if he did not gain time from any of that. That's a... That's a... Oh my god. But Peter Sagan, he, he got the yellow jersey. He took the yellow jersey from Cavendish on that stage. Bernardi is still sixth. Where's Contador? He's nowhere near in there. What the heck is wrong with this? Someone measured the time completely wrong, I'm saying. Because this can't be right, but at least Contador is in the punch general, general classification, and he showed teeth. We know Contador's got something, but he used a lot of powers and nothing on the second stage of the Tour de France. I don't think the Tour insurers had that in the, in the mind when they made this stage. But see, Robert Hessig, this is a perfect day for Belkin. First they win the stage, and now they get the polka dot jersey? What the heck? Who would have thought? Alberto Contador gains two points in that competition, so he can actually take all three, all three competitions at one point. And that, I think that's what he's aiming for. I, I heard them speak about that. And Peter Sargent is also in the best young rider, and Pinot is right behind him with Trenton. Some strange lead-up man being the third guy in the young classification. That's impressive. We also see Ryan Dennis from Garmin Shimano, or Garmin Shop up there. But the best team is Kofidis? What the heck? Where is Team Saxobank at? We want to see them up there. The Danish pride. But he at least... Coveries will get to raise the trophy by themselves. So, w wonder what the newspa new pa newspapers are saying, huh? Le Equip, what are they saying about Molma? Tour de France, a win for Molma. Monday, the 1st of August. Go down to your local market and buy this newspaper for 0.95 euros. It's worth it, because it has an amazing story inside of it. You just witnessed it live. So, we did not gain, or Contador did not gain any time from that, which is total BS. But that's how it is. Let's see if any big names actually lost time because of that attack. I don't see any big names. Let's see Quinsarta, Astolosa, Kristoff. It's all pretty much sprinters losing time. Uh, there's not no really big like GC names losing time. No, they're all they're all good placed. But that was exciting stage two. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like. See you guys.